Oh, that's me. All right, so I've been thinking about... No, I haven't been thinking about. So there's these new services that are starting to get popular that replace you having to do authentication. They kind of store your users and handle logging them in, signing them up, and forgetting their password, all the like annoying auth stuff that you have to do, they just handle it for you. And companies that come to mind that do that are Auth0, which I really hate that name of that company. I always think of OAuth, um, which is an authentication method, and then I always get confused. And then the other one is Amazon Cognito is what it's called. So most of the time, I don't use services like that. They've just started to get more popular recently. And a lot of times, I just end up writing my own authentication. Um, and by that, I mean I don't literally write everything from scratch. I might use some libraries to help me out. But in general, I'm storing my own users and handling the functions myself on my own server. But I have started to think about whether I should start using some of those services and integrating them into my projects um, and what some of the pros and cons of that would be. Now, the context of this video is for projects that are not enterprise, because enterprise is just a whole different beast. I'm talking like a small scale startup project that has minimum authentication requirements, or at least regular ones. Or basically you just need to be able to log in the user, register a user, and have them be able to forget their password and fetch credentials for the user and know who's logged in, that sort of stuff. And so I was thinking about what things I liked about switching over to something like Auth0. And the first thing that came to mind was, you know, it would probably be a lot faster when setting up authentication. Like they already have it all set up. I'm just basically implementing the front end what it would look like and then I just call their API for different things and so that has some merit to it that has some like yeah I don't have to spend as much time coding it but in general to me that is less of a incentive because in general I'm at a point now where I can set up authentication pretty quickly and so I feel like the added speed of auth0 or something similar is not worth it but I think it makes a lot of sense for front-end developers like if I was a front-end developer I had no uh, interest whatsoever of learning back-end technologies or I just wanted to set up a project I think it makes a lot of sense to just use something like that and it handles all your auth needs for you on the other hand if you're a back-end developer or you want to become a back-end developer and that is like your career I think it's definitely worthwhile to actually learn how to set up your own authentication system because no matter what you're working on in the future, that application is going to have some kind of authentication and so knowing how that system works is going to be super useful for future jobs and future projects that you work on. The other thing to consider is the security of using a managed service versus implementing it yourself. So I think it's pretty common to hear people say that it's more secure to use something like Auth0 or Amazon Cognito because they have a whole team working on it um, and they're security experts. Whereas you're just a regular web developer or backend developer, what do you know about security? And I agree with that to some extent, but also I'm a little skeptical that it is just strictly more secure than using like a trusted or uh, battle-tested open source project or library. For example, a very popular Node.js one is Passport.js, and I'm not convinced that it's way more secure to use one of these managed systems. I feel like it's in the company's best interest. It's for Amazon Cognito and Auth0 and companies like that, it's in their best interest to write articles about how hard authentication is and how you have to worry about all these little details and how your system is probably insecure right now because it drives traffic and drives you to sign up for their services. So I'm a little cynical in that and that I think it's also in their best interest to make authentication feel super complex and that you can't do it on their own. That way you sign up for their service. 
I feel like you can kind of just set it up with an open source project or library and you're you're good to go. The other thing to consider too is there's open source versions of this. Um, one that people have been recommending to me that I should try is called Okta, which I probably will try at some point. One of the things that I like about it is I can just run it myself and I can run, I can store the data myself. So the other thing that I'm a little eh about is I don't know if I want to give Amazon and Auth0 my, all my user data. I think this is another one where there's two sides to it. Um, user data is like super precious and so I don't want them to be in control of it but at the same time if they're controlling it, they may do a better job than I would of securing it, and so they're less likely to get hacked. And I think that is the thinking behind using something like that. I have mixed feelings about having all the user data stored on someone else's server. In general, it's not really a turning point to me or like a killing factor. It's not like, oh, I can't store my own user data, I'm not going to use them. But also, I would rather be control of that I think. Another thing that is just a non-factor to me though is price. I don't think it's something I would even consider thinking about with using one of them. And what I mean by that is I don't think the price really matters. If you value your time as a developer uh, at all, then the time it saves you from setting up and dealing with that is well under what it would cost you to handle it yourself. And so if you're a small team, I think it also makes a lot of sense to outsource that sort of thing. I'm all for outsourcing things. I love outsourcing. So that's really appealing to me not to even have to think about it and like shift the blame and shift the uh, all of the responsibility off to someone else is a really enticing factor for me. So quick interjection. Uh, I didn't realize how expensive the Auth0 pricing was. So in retrospect, I do think pricing has a little bit of a factor. I think I was too strong in saying that it was a straight non-factor. Um, for 50,000 users with Auth0, pretty much as you scale, the price can get pretty pricey. So it costs 1100 a month for that. Um, though if you put this into terms with 50,000 users, you should probably be having some sort of revenue. And I imagine your revenue m is way higher than that. And the cost of getting a developer is uh, way less, or sorry, a developer would cost way more a month than this to actually have someone dedicated to authentication. So I do think this is less than hiring a developer, um, but it's definitely still a factor because this is definitely real money you're spending on authentication. Uh, surprisingly, AWS Cognito, I just wanted to see how much they costed, and it's a lot less. They may have some hidden fees I wasn't able to find, but I went to their pricing section and if you can compare uh, how much for monthly active users, it's a lot less. Your first 50K is totally free. And then after that, it's the cents per monthly active user. And if we just multiply that out, right, times 50,000, that's 275 compared to 1,100. So it's almost fourth the cost, if not less. So surprisingly, Amazon is a lot cheaper there. Um, but yeah, so definitely there's some consideration to take uh, when looking at choosing these. So I think the main thing that's holding me back is the lack of flexibility. When I sign up for a service like that, I've now lost a lot of decisions that they've made for me. And I don't like that. I like having the ability to be able to switch things up and have it work exactly how I want for a specific project because each project has different needs and being able to customize it is pretty crucial. But with that said, I'm coming from the background of I know how to set up authentication and I understand the whole process and so I really like having the control of the whole process and being able to tweak it where I can. But if I run into something where I have a more complex auth flow, then I'm definitely gonna be considering using one of these services and giving them a try.
Fun fact, I recorded this entire video while being eaten by mosquitoes. I tried doing mosquito repellent, but it kind of didn't work too well. And I was like, let's just record the video. It's worth. Let's get done with it. And hopefully I don't regret this.